Okay, we continue with the second part of uh, calculation on a leverage or debt ratio calculation. So basically for leverage solvency ratio, okay, leverage ni uh, solvency ni hutang lah. Eh? Dia menunjukkan berapa banyak hutang syarikat. Okay. Uh, the first one is debt ratio where we calculate from total debt divided by total assets where total debt we get the we get the current debt plus long term debt whereby 79 plus 180 we get 259 yeah, divided by total asset here 766 we get 33.81% what does this mean this means that the Berjaya Travel have 33.81% debt uh, compared with the asset yeah, uh, while industry average is 30% so a little bit higher compared to the industry average. Yeah? The second one is debt to equity. It measure how much it debt compared to the equity. Yeah? So basically total debt we take the same number uh, 259 divided by equity. Yeah? Equity. So you need to uh, add on all these three. Yeah? 100 plus 150 plus 257 so it amounted 507 yeah when you divide these two you get 51.08 percent so you see for this one debt ratio we get percentage yeah, based on percentage which is a 51 uh, percent of its equity consists of debt. Yeah. Modal dia, 50% daripada dia adalah hutang. Yeah. Equity ni adalah modal. Okay. Ha. So, yang atas ni pula, uh, apa? sebanyak 33.81% daripada aset dia tu adalah hutang. Jadi, dia membeli aset-aset dia tu dengan hutang sebanyak 33.81%. Right. Okay, next. Time interest earn. Okay, time interest earn measure how much is basically the earning before interest and taxes able to pay its interest. Yeah, berapa banyak kali dia boleh roll dia punya EBIT uh, untuk membayar uh, faedah. Okay, so EBIT Ya, atau kata nama lain dia adalah operating income. Ya, jangan confuse. When we uh, the book use a different terms, okay, uh, make sure that you know uh, apa the different terms of each uh, each each item lah. Ya, operating income. So three hundred, yeah, operating income divided by interest. Here. So, 300 operating income dengan hanya 25 interest. So, dia boleh bayar 12 kali dia punya interest tu uh, menggunakan operating income. Yeah. Uh, cuma in real, uh, nanti kalau awak buat group assignment, yeah, awak tengok uh, dia, dia panggil interest ni mana ni interest ni financing cost ya kadang-kadang dia tak panggil interest dia panggil financing cost okey so we move to the uh, fourth part of uh, ratios category which is profitability ratios where uh, we calculate return on equity berapa banyak uh, pulangan yang syarikat dapat berdasarkan kepada equity. Ya, di mana dikira berdasarkan 
earning after tax divided by common equity. Yeah. Uh, common equity ataupun equity lah. Yeah. Uh, equity. Yeah. Common equity ni macam kita kita baca it could be a common stock. Yeah. It's basically a, a equity. Okay. So earning after tax kita ambil daripada uh, income statement. Ya, yeah, earning after tax. Uh, earning after tax maksudnya pendapatan selepas cukai. So kita cari dekat bawah ni lah. Ha, yeah? uh, yang ni. Uh, lepas dia bayar cukai dia 165. Ya, yeah, 165 divided by equity where we add this 3 507. Kita dapat 32.54%. Ya. Ah uh, it's quite similar with the industry. Uh, on par lah. Ya. Uh, and then we calculate okay. And uh, let's go back when we calculate the earlier earlier uh, ratios such as the liquidity ratios uh, berjaya travel is way below kan uh, but when it comes to a certain ratio like this one return on equity uh, it's quite similar with the industry so basically kita boleh uh, analyze the strength of the berjaya uh, travel and weaknesses from the ratio ada certain ratio yang dia tinggi daripada uh, apa on par with the industry ada ratio yang lebih rendah daripada industry okay Next is return on asset uh, where we calculate uh, based on earnings after tax divided by total assets. Yeah. Uh, so, earning after tax 165, total asset is 766. We get 21.54%. Uh, for this return on asset pula, berjaya travel is way below industry average. Okay, number three, gross profit margin. Gross profit margin ni macam mana? Margin lah. Kalau jual uh, produk, sekali jual berapa uh, uh, untung kasar? Uh, percentage dia. Right? So, gross profit divided by sales. Where to get gross profit? From here. Yeah. 1,050 divided by sale, 1,500. You get 70%. Hmm. Way above uh, industry average. Yeah, it's for industry. Seventy percent, which means kalau syarikat tu jual produk seratus, yeah, tujuh uh, puluh tu untung tu untung kasar sebab seventy percent kan? Seventy percent maksudnya tujuh puluh lah, tujuh puluh untung kasar. Tapi kalau uh, industry average dia jual seratus, yeah. Dia dapat hanya 65 untuk kasar. Itu gross profit margin. Kemudian operating margin. Ha, selepas tolak COGS. So kita ambil operating income. Ya, EBIT. Ha, kan tadi dia guna EBIT. Sekarang dia guna operating income. Sebab ha, dia basically yang sama. Cuma sebab nak kira operating margin kan. Operating income 300 divided by sales 20%. Hmm? Ha. So, turunlah. Sini, dia dapat 70% margin. Lepas tu, bila sini, dia dapat 20% margin. Yeah. So, kat sini, net income ha, berapa pula? Mesti lebih sikit daripada yang atas ni. Okay. So, net profit margin is net profit divided by sales is 11%. 11% only So, bila kita tahu uh, Gross profit margin, operating margin And net profit margin Basically, kita kita mudah uh, apa, Especially those yang berniaga kan uh, Once you uh, Anticipate these things uh, So, you dah boleh budget dah Berapa banyak uh, you nak dapat Net income uh, Dengan penjualan produk berapa banyak Eh? Ha, jadi kalau misalnya kata, katakanlah awak uh, jual satu uh, produk, okay, satu produk, 
dapat RM11 untung kan? Okay. Uh, awak nak generate uh, RM1,000. Okay. RM1,100. Then you just multiply je lah. Ya. Yeah? Uh, satu produk dapat 11. Maksudnya kena jual 100 produk untuk dapat 1100 untung bersih. Macam tu. Ya. Yeah. So basically untuk calculation. Saya hanya mengira sehingga profitability ratio saja Untuk uh, market uh, ratios. Awak boleh uh, apa? Uh, calculate sendirilah. Eh? Alright. Kita sambung untuk tutorial yang ketiga.